Hello and welcome to this third video of A View to the Other Side. In this video, as promised, I will tell you a little about uh, some cool desktop effects that you can enable through a package named Compiz, but we'll talk about that later. First, to enable these desktop effects, you must make sure that you have your graphic card drivers installed. To make sure of that, we can go to System, Administration, and here, Restricted Drivers Manager. You might be prompted for a root password, and here is. In my case, I have an NVIDIA. So I just make sure that this box here is checked, okay? And when you check it, it might prompt you for some uh, packages that you should install through Synaptic Package Manager, but it is really easy, okay? And after you install that, those packages, you come back here, check it, and once this green light appear, it all should be good. So we can close this, and next we go to the Synaptic Package Manager, System, Administration, and, whoops, here, Synaptic Package Manager. In the Synaptic Package Manager, we're looking for a package named Compiz. Okay, so we got, we're gonna search for it, Compiz, hit search, wait a little bit, and Compiz should appear. Well, you should already have Compiz installed, but wha what we're looking here is this package here, which is the Compiz Settings Manager. Make sure we install them, and after that, we can close Synaptic Package Manager, go to System, this time Preferences, Appearance, and in this window, we're looking for this last tab, Visual Effects, and in this visual effects, as you can see here, you have a lot of options. Non-visual effects, normal visual effects, extra or costume. The default level, I think it is normal, but you should go to costume and then click on preferences. And it will bring forward a graphical user interface that, uh, that package that we installed before through the Synaptic Package Manager um, uh, installs. And here you have a lot of plugins that uh, provide you these cool desktop effects. For example, the Enhanced Zoom Desktop uh, lets you zoom in and out like I use in this video. But I wanted to show you a cool desktop effect, not these ones from the window, but which is the, the cube, the desktop cube. A lot of people seem to like this cube. This cube uses the concept uh, in Linux which is that you have multiple di multiple desktops as you can see here here down here I have these four desktops okay and uh, to switch between them uh, the desktop cube provides me a cube uh, it, in that uh, each of the each side of the cube is one of my desktops okay let's minimize this I warn you that uh, it may appear some flicker on the video, but uh, it is from the, the the software I used to record the video. It's not from the effects. Let's try, for example, uh, this is my site. Let's go to another desktop. I can just click, and you can see the cube just switches, and you have that background that you can change all in the in the options of the cube. Or alternatively, you can press Control Alt and press it your left mouse button and this cube will appear it is really great don't you think it shows all the four desktops you can switch between them it has some cool transparency uh, that you can define in the options on the cube plugin and th the this cube is really great because take a look for example let's play a video in youtube so the video is playing but now i'll go to the other side of the cube and as you can see, back there, the video is still running, just like it is here, okay? The video is running on the other side. You can see that because of the transparency. And it's really cool, you can switch, it creates a cool desktop effect that your friends are going to like. Okay, maybe this may not be very useful, but it is definitely cool. You can also switch between windows in a cool form. You just press the super button, which um, most commonly is the that button with the Windows logo, and then click on Tab, and it will bring you this nice, cool thing to switch between your windows. I really like it. Other effects are like this fade to desktop, okay? The the other you already know is this cool 
window effects. Well, you should try them all at your like. Okay, it's really easy. Don't forget, all you have to do is go here to System, Preferences, Appearance, and then on the Compete Settings Manager, which you can exceed by in the Preferences, you can enable or disable all these great plugins. You really have to browse all of them, test, and in the final, use what you like. Okay, see you next time.